So I just ran a test here on my iPhone's battery and it turns out it's actually perfect. So it's really important you do that because you want to know the condition of a battery, which is really, really important, especially if you're trying to buy a used phone. Batteries are really important for iPhones and every other mobile device. They will determine how long you can use the device without charging, but also have a really big impact on how the device will actually perform. That's why you need to know how the battery of an iPhone is and of course test it out. I will show you guys how to do this in a second, but first of all, I will show you one thing that probably most of us do. So when you wanna take a look at how good of the battery of an iPhone is, we of course will go to settings, battery, and then go to battery health here. And you will see in this case, I have 99%. So if I just wanna sell this iPhone, which I purchased back in September, I can sell it right now. I have 99% battery capacity there, which looks good, but that's not actually true. That's why you need to test the battery of your iPhone. Not to tell you that this is not accurate at all. Here we have something called battery status. So we go to privacy here and then go to analytics and improvement. Go to analytics data and make sure you go to the last one here where it says analytics tap that share button right there and then tap on battery stats right there and you will see something really important. You need to understand this because it's really, really important and to see how actually batteries work and why mine is saying 99% or you will maybe have a device at 100% for a really, really long time. That is actually not possible, but it happens for a reason. So you can see right here what we have. So it says that the capacity of the battery of my iPhone is 4,526. Now on paper, according to Apple, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a capacity of 4,323, which is way lower than this. So you can see currently I have 4,239. That's why my iPhone is saying that it's at 99% battery health because it's considering the design number that Apple gives and then this one right here and not the actual one because batteries, even though Apple has just stated a number there, most of them will have more capacity than said. Some will have way more, some just a few more. That's why it's always not accurate and sometimes the device will show 100% battery health for a really, really long time. So currently the true battery health of my device is right here, 93.66%. That's the battery health of the device. You can run this yourself. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. You can go ahead and check out your battery's health and see what's actually the real battery health. Now, if you want to test your iPhone's battery and actually see if it's good or not and see every time here that you get like endurance time, 3G talk time, in this case, web browsing and video playback, which are of course the most important components. You can use this app right here, Battery Plus Plus, which has a pro and a light version. I will leave both of them linked right down below in the description of the video. So the app is actually very easy to use. So you just open the app and tap on start testing. You just don't plug your iPhone in while it's testing. And of course, don't leave the app. The first time you run the test, it will take three to 10 minutes to actually test the battery. And if you want to buy an iPhone for someone, you can actually just install this app and go straight away to the app and start testing the battery and you will see if the battery is good or not. You will have other things here as well. If you go to system, you can check everything basically from the storage of an iPhone to anything else. So you can see right here we have the CPU and you can just learn all the details regarding the device. And then you will have the history of the scores right here. And you can see you will have this basically chart right here that indicates how good the battery of your iPhone is. In this case, we got a score of 992 out of 1000, which indicates that this battery is actually performing as it should. So that is basically for this video, guys. This is how easy it is to actually test the iPhone with battery and of course learn the real capacity and the real battery health of your iPhone. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.